Hi everyone, here's a picture of me and some girls from my volleyball team. I decided to do my market report on the sale of Apple iPods. I read an article titled, The new iPod Touch is here, but it is not going to do anything for Apple sales. This article was written about a year ago, and it is on how the while the new iPod Touch is much improved from the old one, it is still not going to change Apple's iPod sales. According to data compiled by Silk Co., Apple's iPod sales have declined every year since 2008. The same year it released its iPod Touch 2 and only a year after it released the initial iPod Touch. In 2008, overall Apple, sa Apple iPod sales reached 54.83 million, followed by a slight decrease to 54.13 million. In the following year, in 2010, we start to see a further decline to 50.31 million. And in 2011, we see a steep decline to 42.62 million, with that same rate of decline still prevalent to this day. The steep decline started in 2010, though can easily be explained with the actions from Apple itself. In mid-2008, the company introduced the iPhone 3G, which was a massive improvement on its initial iPhone, and saw a huge increase in sales of the iPhone. Additionally, this was followed by the iPhone 3GS in 2009. The cultural shift towards a sharp increase in smartphone adoption could partially could partially be attributed to the release of these iPhone models. At the end of 2008, smartphone penetration stood at 14% in the United States. By the time Apple introduced the iPhone 4 in 2010, 31% of Americans were using smartphones. So. I predict that people have stopped buying as many iPods to the fact that smartphones are a phone and an iPod on one, so there's no need to actually buy a second device, which has led to a decrease in iPod sales, resulting in a leftward shift in the demand curve. So a change in consumer preference seems to be the main deter determinant in demand because people would rather have a phone that can do it all than an iPod and a cell phone. Another determinant of demand could be consumer expectations. Consumers might expect that Apple will start to sell iPods for less or that they will make them more desirable so that a person might want both an iPhone and an iPod. So here's Apple's sales of iPods in 2013 at 26.38 million and here is their sales in 2014 at 14.38 million, almost a 50% decrease. So there's a leftward shift in the demand curve and here is the new equilibrium point of their and their sales have continued to de decrease so this graph is still representative of what is happening now okay thank you